There are six characteristics of a corporation, but unless you're a corporation, you don't get to choose all of them. You get to choose only a subset of them. And the six characteristics of a corporation are, one, that you have associates. These could be shareholders or members in a limited liability company, partners in a partnership, those kinds of things. The second characteristic is that the business is defined to provide gains for its members, shareholders, those kind of, its associates, right? So it's in a business to, to make a profit. There, another uh, characteristic is what we call limited liability. And as I've said before, the limits to liability really are extended to those people who are not directly making decisions. Those are maybe shareholders, silent partners, those kinds of things that go in there. Another characteristic of a uh, corporation is what we call centralized uh, management. In other words, where the management is, is, is centralized in a, in a few people and it's not necessarily shared by all of the owners of that particular business. In other words, they have a, 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 a board of directors and, and, and uh, you know, officers of the business that are doing the day-to-day -day kinds of things. And, and by the way, they need not actually be shareholders or members of that particular business. Another one is the ability for free transfer of your underlining ownership. Uh, so if you have shares in a big corporation, uh, you can go ahead and sell them whenever you want to. Uh, and th those types of things. That's what we call free transfer of, of ownership. And the last one is what we call continuity of life, which essentially means that if one shareholder or one member d no longer is party to that, the entity will continue to uh, progress uh, and not be shut down immediately. But what most people don't understand is that that's what a corporation is allowed to do. But if you're like a limited liability or something, you can't have all of them. In fact, you probably don't even want all of them. Most of the time, if you're creating, you want associates. Those are people, those are other members in a limited liability company, partners in a partnership. You're in there for a for-profit. So there's another one. So you get to pick four. Uh, a lot of people will go ahead and pick limited liability. But sometimes, again, if everybody who's active in that particular business is, in fact, a, a manager of that particular business, it doesn't really make much sense to even select that. But a lot of people do. Centralized management, on the other hand, is, is something that you may want to do, especially if you've got cascading businesses and stuff like that. So in my particular case, I may have a business that actually holds real estate, but I actually have a property management company that actually does the management of it. But that property management company doesn't, in fact, own the uh, underlining business itself. They just are managers and they've been assigned to be those managers by the owners of that particular business. Free and transfer uh, ability uh, to share. In most cases, uh, in privately held companies, you really don't want that. That's something that you would definitely want to nix off of the table, but um, because you would never want to have a limited liability company where one of your members decides that they would like to get out of the business and wants to sell their ownership stake to maybe a competitor or something like that that can really mire up your works or whatever the case is. And the last one, which some people will choose, it's kind of a, you know, uh, you know, this or that for continuity of life. And what most people don't necessarily realize is that they do, in fact, have something maybe like a limited liability company where they have a whole bunch of different partners. And one of those partners, for example, leaves, dies, or, or somehow becomes incapacitated and can no longer function in that particular role. That entity, is just, if it has not selected continuity of life as one of the four uh, characteristics of a corporation that it wants, will effectively be null and void after a period of 90 days, unless all the members come together and they all vote to continue going forward in a corporation. Because without continuity of life, if any member of a limited liability or partnership disappears, effectively it begins the cycle to automatically shut that business down.